Hi everyone, Tracy here and I have an unboxing. I uh, opened it up just enough to where you couldn't see addresses or anything like that. So, okay. I'm so excited about this. I have been waiting for this for, it feels like forever. I know it hasn't been. But I'm just so excited about this deck. Just pull the... It's a little stone. And a little bow. And I don't think... I think I'm going to have to touch... I saw this on an Instagram and I knew what she was doing. This is a Kickstarter deck. She made these little paper boats with a thank you. And I've got deck number 78 of 500. It's on a little sticker so I can actually stick it in the box wherever I want to. Joanna Nelson Studio. I'm so waiting to get my hands on this. It's the Monstero! I backed it on Kickstarter. I have been following her progress the whole way. I just have been delighted by this deck since I saw it from the beginning. And those of you who've, who are on the Facebook group for the love of cards know that I, uh, I was an ardent pusher of this deck because... It, it made its goal, obviously, because I got it, but it didn't make it by a whole lot. Okay, nice sturdy box. Only complaint is no little thingies to put your fingers in, but gravity seems to be doing its job. Yeah, I'll just stick my, I'll stick my sticker on the inside there. And then we have the bottom of the box, and we have the cards, and we have the little white book. Well, we'll look at this at the end. We'll do a, after I walk through the deck very quickly, and I do mean quickly because I don't have a whole lot of time, um, then I'll shuffle and pull a card and read from the little white book. All right, here we go. Now, Joanna Nelson has been one of the contributors to the 78 Tarot. I'm not sure it, if she did the first one, but I know, I think she did the second and third one, and she's doing the, the most recent one. So you can see the, sort of the influence. Um, big cards, bendy, maybe a little too bendy, I'm not sure. A little glossy. And there's the back. There's little paper boats on the back, so that's why we have the paper boats. And we have one extra card. It's the Illuminator. The Illuminator. Illumination, energy, shining the light of truth. Artist interpretation. The Illuminator stands tall on a mountain beneath the dark night sky. He extends his hands out to the sides, and like magic, bursts of light appear and dance into the form of an arc over him shedding a bright glow and illuminating his surroundings. Card meaning. Even in the darkest of times, there exists within you an inner strength that can bring you hope when you need it. You're a magical being, able to withstand intense trials and travels and travel arduous journeys in order to succeed. You are more than enough. The energy within you will power you when all around you falls away. The phone rang. Okay, so let's have a quick look at the cards. Here's the Illuminator. Then we have the Fool. The Magician. Oh, I love him. Oh, I love him. The High Priestess. The 
Empress. Emperor. Hierophant. Oh, isn't he? I oh, love the candle, the little candle on his little antler. Lovers. The chariot. Justice. Well, they've got, she's got justice placed at eight, but none of these cards has any numbers, so you can do it any way you choose. The Hermit. The Wheel of Fortune. That's so cute! Strength. You know, that makes me think of a, the strength of a mother when your babies vomit on you. <laughs> and the kind of strength it takes to deal with that. The Hanged Monster. Death. Great. Temperance. The Devil. Power. Star. Oh, wow, that's pretty. I like that one. The Moon. It is a Rider Waite Smith deck, basically. Sun. Judgment. Very Rider Waite Smith there, even with the cute monsters. And the World. Oh, that's a wonderful World card. I love that. Ace of Pentacles. I imagine the little um, paper boats pop up in a few places. Three, four, five. Oh, sad rock. Six, seven, Queen has Queen of Pentacles has three eyes, and the King of Pentacles has three eyes too. One of them's just way up on top of his head. Oh, oh, I like that. Her own little tail is wrapped around her legs, keeping her from moving. <laughs> She's got a little teddy bear. I don't know why I thought that was a she. It just looks like a she to me. <laughs> Gosh, I like that one. Yeah. Releasing. Just releasing. love the colors in this deck. They're just, I love color and these colors are just wonderful. The mushroom is one of the revelers. That's really interesting. These monsters remind me of like Muppets, Muppet type monsters. Five eyes on the Nine of Cups.
Well, I just love it. It is so me. It is so my style. I think that's going to be a whole lot of fun to play with. Um, let's see how it shuffles. It's awfully big. I don't know if I can riffle it the standard way. Maybe just barely. And I have large hands. So I would imagine that most people are not going to be able to riffle that the normal way. Let's see if I can riffle it this way. Uh, I'm not as good at that. Nope. Nope. Just can't do that. So it looks like this one's going to be an overhand shuffler. Which... It's okay. I, I prefer to riffle, particularly right at first, just to get everything good and mixed up. But if I'm only going to pull one card from it, then having everything good and mixed up isn't as important. It's only when I'm going to pull multiple cards. The Ten of Wands. Let's see what the book has to say about the Ten of Wands. Ten of Wands, burden, stress, overextension, artist interpretation, struggling to carry a heavy load home, the little monster realizes that although, is, although there is a sense of reward from his harvest, he has taken on a lot to carry. It may be time to reevaluate and rest. Card meaning, no rest for the wicked. Your work has been rewarded, your dreams have all come true, and you've been truly blessed. But it's too much of a good thing, and at times it feels like you've bitten off more than you can chew. The hopes you once had now sometimes feel like a heavy burden weighing you down. With your success comes expectations and responsibilities that you can't shirk, meaning that you cannot rest on your laurels. You have to continue down that path. I like that. That's good. Let's see if we can read a little bit from the beginning. Welcome to the world of Monstero. This is a world of kind micro monsters, helpful bugs and fantastical whimsical creatures such as bunny flies and flynosaurs. It's a lighthearted and compassionate world, not so different from our own, but don't be fooled by their cuteness. These are not naive creatures to be ignored. There are still harsh truths to be faced from time to time. The little monsters manage to show us these with grace and empathy. They live their lives with hope as a constant and the aim of the Monstero is to bring a little of the same into all of our lives. Created and illustrated by Joanna Nelson, written by Trish Sullivan and Joanna Nelson. And then it goes straight into card meanings, and that's pretty much it. It is definitely a little white book, but I like the meanings. Uh, they give a little bit of the artist's perspective and a little bit of meaning. So I am definitely going to look forward to playing with this. This will go so well with my Buddha Doodles. <laughs> I'm going to be using this with my Buddha Doodles. And uh, you'll be seeing this one on Instagram soon too. Have a great day.